Okay, that's a good, great question. Um, so uh, there's usually a 30 minutes uh, time in the mornings um, where the children are coming in from the bus or car riders, um, and that's their unpacking time. Uh, many kindergarten classes will have um, activities out, puzzles, books, writing that the kids can choose from after they finish unpacking their backpack and doing all of the routines that they would need to do for the day, putting their lunch card in the cans that say packer or buyer, those kinds of things. Um, and they very quickly learn how to do those. Um, there's a lot of visual reminders and um, things around the room to help them remember, okay, this is my first step, then I do this and so on. Um, so that's usually our unpacking time. And then from there, there's most um, kindergarten classes have like a morning um, opening or a morning message or perhaps um, daily announcements that actually come from the office over a loudspeaker or perhaps are streamed in the board that would be in your class. Um, and so um, that that's usually about 10 minutes. And then we usually get started with our day very quickly and, and we have about a 90 minute reading block. Um, and during that reading, I would say reading writing block, we um, have a whole group time with the children. Most of the time they're sitting on a rug um, of some type. Um, and uh, there might be um, a story read where you're modeling some good reading strategies. There might be some foundational skills. So um, phonological awareness pieces like rhyming and, and, and hearing syllables and um, hearing the distinction between words in a sentence as I'm speaking them um, to then moving into the phonics piece where they're connecting letters and sounds together um, and being able to sound out very simple words. Um, so all of that is done during um, a, a short whole group time. So your child will probably be sitting for 10 to 15 minutes max before there's movement breaks and things because um, we don't expect them to sit longer than, you know, in the beginning of the year, honestly, five or six minutes, usually the number of minutes that matches their age. So, and then there's some movement break before we then sit down again and start. So it will be, um, it will be broken up, but there will be this whole group block of time that's 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then we move into the small group time, which I mentioned before that are um, allow us to differentiate for the different kids and their levels and their needs. And within that time, there'll be a guided reading time where your child will probably be in text of some kind. Um, very simple in the beginning and there those groups are typically five to seven children in a group um, and those groups are very flexible so if your child is in one particular group they may not stay in that group very long in two weeks they may be changing or at the end of the quarter they may be changing based on assessment data that the teacher um, gets from um, pulling your child aside and talking with them and and reading with them and so on um, and during the time when I'm working with a small group the other children in the class have other various literacy kinds of activities to do um, often this is where we might look for a volunteer that might be able to come into the room to help support another small group to do a guided writing activity or um, an activity where I'm doing a follow-up to some of those rhyming or syllable or um, letter sound matching those foundational skills. Um, and so that lasts about 60 minutes, typically 10 to 15 minutes for each group and the children rotate through those different activities. Um, there's also, of course, um, uh, the lunch time where we prepare for lunch and get ready and wash our hands and all those good things. And they go down to a cafeteria where there are other adults that help, but the teacher generally is not in the cafeteria. And at the beginning, that's a little troublesome for some of the kids. They are a little upset by that. But when they see me coming back at the end of that 30 minutes, they know, okay, she's gonna come back, just like mom and dad come back, the teacher comes back. Um, and they're all always very friendly, wonderful adults down there that are helpers that they get to know and enjoy then going down to see. And then they'll help them open their containers and things until they start doing that themselves. 
Um, there's also a recess block. And as I mentioned, I think earlier in the interview, some schools will do a full 20 minutes outside. Others will divide it up and have 10 or so minutes in the morning and 10 or so minutes in the afternoon. But we recognize that they need time to get outside and and um, get out some of their energy. Um, there's usually also a 60 minute math walk of time. Um, and that involves, again, a whole group time, which is 10 to 15 minutes with math songs and a modeling of whatever we're doing, that math skill that we're doing. I might model that for the kids or we might play a game together that focuses on that skill. And then again, we move into small groups where I'm looking at how all the kids are doing through it in informal assessments and then grouping them. Um, and then they rotate through groups that way too. And I'm able to then meet with small groups of children for math. There's also a science or social studies time. Um, in the county, we typically have a science unit that we're studying. And then when that unit is over, then we move into a social studies unit. So that same, usually typically 30 to 40 minute block of time during the day is either science or social studies. We also have specials. So the kids will go to PE twice a week, art twice a week, um, music twice a week, and media or library once a week. Um, some schools will have a computer lab time as well, and that's usually about a 40 minute um, time block. And then um, there is um, also um, the county is working on developing a time in our schedule for social emotional learning. So you might see the abbreviation of the SEAL, S-E-L. Um, so that social emotional learning right now in Frederick County, we're using a curriculum called PATHS, um, P-A-T-H-S. And my opinion, we piloted it, uh, some schools piloted it two years ago, and then I believe all elementary schools used it last year. And I I'm a big fan. I think it really addresses um, children identifying their feelings, um, connecting, you know, learning, feeling vocabulary so that they can say, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling really sad right now. Instead of just crying, they can tell us how they're feeling. Um, but it also addresses, um, the curriculum also addresses being able to regulate emotion, particularly intense emotion. A child's feeling particularly overwhelmed or angry or whatnot. And it gives them strategies of, of ways to get themselves back to a regulated, calm state so that they can think through whatever the issue is. Um, the program also addresses what do you do when you're having problems with a friend? So kind of problem solving through some of those things. And it's done very... Um, appropriate for the age. In kindergarten, we have puppets and um, we do a lot of role playing and pretending together. And so they really enjoy that time. So typically that's about 15 minutes or so a day. Um, and then we, a lot of times we'll have a structured play time. And for some schools that's just recess and for other schools they'll use what we call application centers where we have um, different centers set up around the room, a science center, a math center, um, a construction center, imagination, and so on. And really, they're using what they've learned in the social emotional um, lessons. They're using that independently um, on their own at center time. So it's a really nice time for them to apply what they're learning in a, um, in a structured environment with the teacher there to intervene and help as needed. Um, it also works on their oral language development and whatnot. So um, I know some schools do not have specifically an application center time um, that varies depending on, it's a site-based decision. Um, but uh, I know Walkersville does have it and I'm a, I'm a huge advocate of those application centers. I think it really helps the kids. And that's usually 10 to 15 minutes um, a day. Um, and then, of course, we move into the routines of packing up. And um, a lot of times um, we might have like a closing circle time where we review, well, what are some of the things that we learned today? And who wants to share their favorite thing about the day? That kind of just a five or 10 minutes of kind of closing out the day. Um, and then they prepare for dismissal time where, again, all hands on deck, all adults are there to make sure every child gets on the right bus and um, we walk them out, help them up the steps. I know the bus 
um, has very steep steps. So we make sure that they get on safely and um, or get those car riders where they need to be. So that's what a typical kindergarten day looks like.